Hello, hopefully this is an easy one today. This will be replacing the hard disk in a Dell. Doesn't really tell me much about it, it's a P69G, otherwise known as Dell's part number 93KXKA04. Ah, okay, they've still left the sticker on it, so at least I can tell here. Inspiron 13 5000 series. So an Inspiron 13 5000 series. Right, this looks fairly simple. I think it's pretty much all of these screws around the outside. So here goes. And for those of you who don't normally watch my videos, as you may be able to see up here, I'm putting the screws in uh, a map of where they've come out on the machine. So if they are separate sizes, which it doesn't look like on this machine they are, uh, then I know where they go back. But it looks like this machine is easy. So far all of those screws are exactly the same size, but on some computers, on some laptops, you end up with screws which are different lengths and uh, sometimes putting the wrong length screw back in to the wrong place will cause damage to the plastic case or the bracket that the screw goes into. So that's all of those screws on the underside undone. I'm now going to use a thin, either a thin card or in my case I'm going to use a spatula. to hopefully gently pry up the edge of the machine. And now, with I've basically unclipped most of that, I'm now just going to use my finger to try and unclip the rest. I may have a quick look there, I'll probably use it here. So I've managed to undo that side, having a bit of trouble with this bit here. It might be to the point where I've now got enough movement in this case that I can unclip it without having to use the spatula. No. Ah, yep, there we go. There's one clip and one more to go, I think. And there we go. So that's the uh, the bottom cover removed. And here is the hard disk. Let's give you a better look at that machine anyway. So you've got the hard disk here. We've got the wireless card there. BIOS or um, settings storing battery there. The main laptop battery here. Got two RAM slots, it looks like. One of which on mine is uh, 
unused and one which has a stick of RAM in it, cooling fan, video connector and probably keyboard connector. I think that's about the most exciting things that are useful to see. So let's take the old hard disk out. So there's one small screw. Oops, I hope I've focused back onto the laptop. One small screw down here by the speaker. I've noticed that my, uh, where is it? Somewhere around here, screws and other things. Are, yeah, there's the speaker. Careful not to drop the screw near the speaker because it might get stuck in it. There's one small screw there, another small screw up there. Looks like there may actually, or possibly, no, okay, that one's the one that went through the case. So there's one that looks like it should be there, but when you put the, uh, the cover back on, one of the screw holes lines up and goes into it. So two tiny screws. You can now lift the hard disk out and unplug the serial ATA and power connector. And there's the hard disk. It's a uh, a Seagate thin laptop drive, one terabyte, and I'm going to be replacing it with the best thing you can do to any machine, an SSD. So undo the screws on the side of the bracket for the hard disk, of which there are four. Before I go any further, I shall crack open the SSD. And remembering the orientation that the old hard disk went in, lift off that, uh, possibly an EMI shield or something, lift that off, put, the, put it back on where the SSD is, and simply screw the four screws back in. There we go, that's the SSD back in its little caddy. And then the next thing we need to do is place it or plug it back into the serial ATA connector and screw it back into that point there and that point there. Okay, so here goes, let's put the SSD in. So we'll reconnect the serial ATA connector drop the drive back into place, get the two tiny screws, and screw the one in which is next to the CPU fan. Screw the one in which is next to the speaker assembly. get the cover and push it back down 
into place. And there we are. Now I can use my little map of screws, although as I say they're all the same, it doesn't really matter, to put them put the screws on the underside back in. And there we go, we should now have a machine with a replaced hard disk, or in this case with a brand new SSD in it. And there we go. If this video has been useful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.